everybody, welcome back to another episode of the 900. So, between episodes, I did pull off those two half skull base defense missions. The first one we did was in an Arctic terrain. I'd never played the map before, but we managed to clear out all the attackers uh, in eight turns, so that was pretty good. The second one was just in a um, sort of a highlands terrain. I'd played that map several times, so I knew the en where the enemies were going to be coming from. That we were able to clear them out in five turns, so that was great. First one there was about 12 enemies, second one there was 11. We picked up a couple of mech parts as salvage, um, a couple of locust parts, a spider part, and a panther part, and then a bunch of other stuff. I didn't go full cash on them, I went 50-50, so we got two of 10 salvage and about a couple hundred thousand in, in cash for each one we maxed out. We got like another plus 50% bonus or something like that because we ended up killing everybody. So that was great. So now we got 666,000 in uh, sea bills, so we're good for the end of the month. Now we're going to take the Imbus Extraction mission today, so let's negotiate this. And I did say, we're going to go full salvage on it because it's a, it is a uh, one and a half skull mission. And I did say we were going to take the spider uh, in order to jump in and grab our embassy person and get out. But I think I'm going to run with the Jenner on that. Um, my only reasoning for that is the Jenner's got a little bit more firepower. So if we do need the firepower, we do have it. And the Jenner does have a really good jump distance as well, so that's, you know acceptable. So we're going to deploy and get this done. Alright, here we go. Get in, get the VIP, get out. And they're up here. I, I don't think I've played this one before. There, that looks pretty simple. I think I may have played this map like once before. Uh, looks like a lot of area over here. So, my guess is there might be reinforcements. So, we're going to make our way this way, I think. Uh, let's try and stay as far away as possible. Copy that. While maintaining a bit of cover here. I don't want to give away our location, <clears throat> but it looks like we're going to be doing that when we get up in here. So let's not go too far. Acknowledged. Affirmative. Now, how far is the edge? It's right there. I got a feeling we're going to be in the open here, but there really isn't that much we can do about it. Uh, let's get you over here. Okay, nothing so far. That's kind of got me worried a little bit. Let's get in the trees. Uh, I know you're going to be in the open and you're going to be in the open, but that's okay. And let's get right up here. Okay, so we do have contact now. But I feel a little more comfortable because we are pretty much up on the hill here. Okay, it's a light mech. That's good. So, let's get eyes on. Let's move straight into here. Copy. We got a couple more here. So they were hanging out at the back of the base. They're all lights. Alright, not bad. So we're going to target this guy. Chances are they're going to have reinforcements coming in. Oh, nice. Cool. Critical hit, Commander. Good, we'll get some firepower on this guy next turn here. Another spider. So I'm not really concerned about the salvage from these guys. There's at least four mechs, so I mean at least we'll get four mech parts, right? So let's move into here. Uh, let's turn the left side a little bit. And we'll fire everything. Maybe we can clear out this guy first turn. I'm not sure who I want to grab the VIP with. <coughs> Might be the Jenner, I don't know yet. Um, hmm. Oh, we got direct line of sight over here, we do. And that's a pretty good darn chance to hit, let's do that. Um, this guy's got no evasion. This guy's got no evasion. 
Let's just fire straight on this guy. Let's hope for a CT hit. Nope. Alright, um, what's this last guy here? Ah, uh, probably a locust. The locust 1M, probably. Alright. Hey, Seuss, we can't see our... Fr oh, we can see the first target somewhere. Right here. 55. Well, let's just do it. Take our shot. Maybe we get lucky and kill him. Well, we got the right leg anyway. So he'll die, definitely die next turn. Okay, and we're going to reserve once these guys go. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, with no evasion left, we cannot we we cannot reserve. Hmm. Hmm. Where can we go here? That's going to maximize our damage potential this will at least let us know what this guy is but if it's a panther I'll be jumping into death um, yeah let's pull back let's do this just for now I'm just, I'm not really worried about taking hits from these guys, like I said, unless that guy's a panther. Um, what I'm worried about is having a second lance coming up against us, and then not having the uh, armor to be able to deal with it. Heading out. Especially if it's like got a couple medium mechs in it. So we're going to multi-target here and here, and we'll fire one to A and the rest to B. Confirmed. Okay, so he's got two wounds now. Okay. Inflicted some heavy damage. All right, what are they doing here? Okay. Couldn't expect to get away with no damage on that. All right, so we're going to move in like so. Not bad. Like this. Going to multi-target. And we're going to go PPC and LRM. Like so. Come on. Ugh. What has he got left anyway? Not much. Yeah, 21. He's just moving himself into range for me. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Oh, he's still hit, though. Didn't think he'd hit there. Okay. I want to get eyes on this guy over here. I want to know what I'm up against here. That's another spider. Uh, let's do... Have you been hit yet? You have. So we're going to do a multi-target. We're going to fire on this guy and this guy. B is going to take the large and two mediums. And A will take two... Let's put this one on A and this one on B. Better chance to hit on B and fire. Engaging multiple targets. Oh, that looked like a leg hit to me. Oh, that was CT. Never mind. Goodbye. Wow, this guy's like taking punishment here. What are you up to? Punching? You are. 30 points. Nice. 
He's just more interested in stripping my evasion. Um. Hey. Let's take a shot on this other spider here. There. Okay. Well, he's got low evasion right here. Fire everything. I hope this hurts. All right, couple penetrations there. That looked like a critical hit. I mean, it sure did. Too bad we couldn't engine crit him and blow him up, but whatever. Wow. Went against the wrong target, dude. Okay, so the talented Miss Ripley. Gonna move forward like this. I want to sh shoot that locust. It's oh, it's a commando. Oh, it's got SRMs. Oh, well, hello there. So we're gonna fire right on this guy. Let's give him a warm welcome. Is that a leg hit? I think it was. I know I'm splitting my fire, but you'll see here why in a minute. Mm-hmm. So he was CT hit. Oh my god. He's in a little bit of trouble there. Waiting for orders. Okay, so let's try and finish two of these guys up if we can. Can we get we can't oh, we can't get up as far as I wanted to get. Uh let's go here. Like so. Confirm. Change things slightly. Gonna do this and fire. Multiple enemies locked in. Uh, do we get him? We did. Okay, we got super lucky on that one. I was really gonna attack this. I was gonna move and attack this guy and try and destroy him, but um, yeah, we got the commando instead, which I think is a bigger threat with those with all those SRMs. So, hey, Zeus, let's go back here. Give it a bit of a moonwalk. I'm gonna multi-target on this one as well. Uh, let's fire on this guy and this guy. B's gonna take the large and probably one medium and put three mediums to this guy and fire. Engaging multiple targets. Okay, is that enough to kill him? No. His armor is stripped everywhere though. Okay, we got the right leg on that guy. Not having a good day. I really hope it's more than just this lance. Like, look at this guy. He's got, like, no armor anywhere. <sighs> at a certain point, I've noticed, though, these mechs kind of give up and don't move. And I'm not sure why that is. One of the last missions I'd played where we were... Um, Defending the base, this exactly this same thing happened with a uh, panther. He just started to stand there, and it had both of its legs. Everything was working. It had SRMs in the CT, but it was PPC was gone. But it just stood there and then just took hits until it died. And I have no idea why. What's up, boss? Um, I want to get you over here. Let's just finish these guys up. I'm done with playing with these guys now. Doesn't, I was thinking about getting trying to get salvage from this guy, like shooting his leg off and stuff, but there's no real Fire. point. Reporting critical hit. We're gonna strip this guy down to nothing, looks like. <sighs> Stop messing around. Fire everything on this guy. Are you kidding me? Okay, thank you. <laughs> I thought for a second there that wasn't enough. <laughs> Alright, Starfish, let's just back up here. Okay, let's go. And uh, let's precision strike this guy's CT if we can, please. Targeting for an alpha strike. Is that gonna be enough? Yep, thank you. I got it. You certainly did. Alright, let's move this one. Alright, we're gonna go up over here. 
I have a feeling because there's so much on that one side that we're going to have a second lance. It's going to give us an opportunity to hopefully get some medium mech salvage if there is any medium mechs. Yep, thank you. Alright, let's see what happens. That's it? Four lights in this? Oh, man. So, one and a half skulls and that was four lights. Well, at least we got some rep with Capellan Confederation and some good experience. So, uh, once again, just garbage salvage. Take three of those. Yep, whatever. Commando part. Good, we got that one too. Alright, ten days left. Let's see what if there's anything that else that popped up in here for contracts. Nope. Although there is this war criminal contract, which I think we should probably jump on. 27 days though. Sakramati, where's that going to take us? Where does this one go? Same place. Let's have a look here. I don't want to start moving. Well. <sighs> Does have a black market. It's two skull. We might be able to pull off the assassinate mission at two skull. So let's take that. We'll get free travel. Um, was that a two skull planet? I think it was. Uh, let's see here. What does it say? Yeah, it's two skull. Um, yeah, so let's go there. It is free travel. We might pick up some good gear. Uh, so let's jump over there. And then next episode, we'll jump in on that Two Skull mission and see what we can get for it. Now, I'm going to go max salvage. We've got enough cash to make it through this uh, financial report. And looks like the next one as well. So we're going to go full salvage. Hopefully, we can pick up some good mech parts. I don't know. It's always difficult to know. I mean, if we totally get lucky, um, maybe it's an Orion. Not that it would matter, but we'd have to get, like we'd have to get super lucky with salvage on that. But I mean, we do have a few other mech parts, so there's a chance that we could get something. Well, maybe not get a medium mech, but at least get some parts to move towards that. I hate the fact that it's 27 days travel. Come on, let's get this done. But I think if we can get some um, medium lasers that have bonus damage or, I don't know, something. We need bonus damage weapons for sure. We're nearly broke, Commander. Yeah, thanks, Darius. And we're not nearly broke. I could understand. I could understand him saying that if we were in the red, but at yellow, really, card games on the mess tech, really, morale decreased by two. All right, almost here. Our next tank is just about shot. Yeah, thanks, please. Not yet. Let's check the store out here. So, nothing really in the store. Black market. Uh, look, we got some partial max salvage. Full fire starter. Full king crab. Are you kidding me? LRM double plus stability damage. If we had heavier max, that would definitely be worth it. Drywall double plus plus three melee hit. We don't really have a melee bot just yet. But, uh, yeah. Not bad. So, let's sell some stuff. I want to get rid of a few things here. Regular AC5 can go. Um, let's sell... Let's just sell one large laser for now. Um, I know we've already sold a bunch of stuff, but let's sell an SRM4. Sell three SRM6s. Um, jump jets, let's sell eight. Uh, let's only sell six. 
Yeah, well, SRML, we don't need this much. Okay, so we got a bit more cash now. Not bad. All right, so when we come back next episode, actually, let's have a look at the hiring hall first. I'm interested to see what kind of pilots we have here. Fuster Lizard. Standing by. Really? Order. Ginger. List the Navy recruit. That's pretty hefty cash to lay out. Yes, Commander. Shiva. Eh. Yes, Commander. Yeah, I don't know. We'll leave it as that, I think. Let's go to uh, the contracts to see what else is here. We know we can't take anything, obviously, but um, it'd be nice to know if we can if we have to leave this uh, planet after this first mission. Yeah, there's a few other there's a few other two skulls that we might be able to engage in here. Holovid propaganda, defend base. Uh, I don't know about that one. This one maybe, and maybe this one. There are lunar surfaces though, so it's going to be tricky. Witness protection. Escort. We can probably do that one. So there are a few here that we could probably take. So, yeah. Okay. So we're going to end the episode here. Um, when we come back, we will take our contract that we're currently on and see what comes up after that. Um, if you liked the video, please drop a like. And, you know, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to do so. I do have other episodes or other uh, series going on right now. I've got a couple of Rogue Tech series using the, the most recent version of Rogue Tech and an older version of Rogue Tech. So, yeah, uh, until next time, we'll see everybody later.